Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the final episode now where we showcase the new creations content that was added last month. So I've left this particular mod to uh, do last, um, not because it's the most expensive, um, coming in at 700 credits, um, which obviously translates to about £7 or $7 depending on where you are. Um, but because this one was the one that I actually had the highest hopes for um, So I've wanted to leave the best till last hopefully um, and that is the East Empire expansion um, So what is this one about so? The East Empire company is looking to expand their reach in Skyrim and they need your help. In exchange for your help building up the East Empire company's presence in Skyrim, they'll provide you with powerful tools to help your adventuring. Loot delivery services. The EEC will carry your extra load out of dungeons and back to town or even back to your home. Uh, selling your wares. Give your extra items to the EEC and they'll sell your items over for you over time. Um, and claiming dungeons. Claim dungeons in the name of the EEC and receive a cut of their mining operations and then watch them take over the locations with guards and mining teams. As you engage in their services, claim locations in their name and convince the Yarls to allow them to do business. You'll witness the East Empire's presence grow as they set up outposts in the Nine Holds and Raven Rock. Eventually those outposts will improve and grant even more services and benefits to you for helping them. Features a professionally voice acted questline and dynamic systems that will allow these new services to work with base game content, other creations and even community mod added locations. So yeah, this mod feels like, the reason why I was interested in this one more than the, the others, although the other ones have been impressed with some of them definitely, this, this feels like it's uh, something that's it's not something you're just going to do like complete a dungeon and then you've done it and you've got the gear but it's done then it this feels a bit like a slow burner like it's going to be something that you're going to steadily sort of play with over time over a long period within a save and you'll slowly sort of see the benefits to it um, and the game will change as it goes on um, and to be honest it it feels like something that Skyrim probably badly needs and other games to be honest. Um, this like the loot delivery service and selling your wares is just yeah For, as someone who is constantly over encumbered this just f feels uh, like it's going to be really good for me so I'm also interested in obviously the voice acted quest line, uh, the professionally voice acted quest line obviously we had voice acting in Catcher the Thief which I was interested in sometimes I thought it was good sometimes I felt like it missed the mark so yeah i was probably a little bit maybe disappointed in that aspect so i'm hoping this is going to be yeah going to meet my expectation because yeah anything that's got the voice acting in i'm a, a big fan of because yeah as people who watch my let's play will know i yeah i hate the anniversary edition content for the fact that it you just get so many notes it's a real bugbear of mine, the constant note giving. So, yeah, voice acted quest lines is, uh, yeah, definitely throw my hat in for that. So, yeah, let's, um, should we get a uh, load of save up and then, yeah, see what this one's about. Right, here we are. So, I'm, I'm led to believe that this uh, particular mod, it, the only way of starting it is to clear a location. So... Yeah, we'll go and do that, and then hopefully, yeah, we'll uh, we'll trigger that. That'll trigger the event, and then we can yeah begin uh, the EEC. So, should we just let's just try Silent Moon's camp because that's kind of where we are at the minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna move my horse out of the way because they have a habit of getting into trouble. Hopefully, they will they will stay over here. Let's take out these bandits. Oh no, he's getting straight in there. Look at that. What is he doing? Right, the horse is taking that one. I'll take this one.
Right, that's the upper level cleared, I think. Trying my best not to uh, shoot our horse then. Ah, oh, we've managed, we've been boxed in as well, brilliant. Alright, come on, let's get you back down the hill. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, go in and clear the interior and then hopefully we'll see the, uh, the quest begin. We got any more bandits? Yes, just one. There we go. Right. We need to unlock this door to get out. Right, now we're outside. Oh, hello. Ah, Where did hello. he come from? I offer greetings to you, yes? Ah, this must be the start of the, the quest. Uh, of course, how may I help you? I'm weary of strangers, but I shall hear what you have to say. What is it you want of me? I know of your kind, because you speak. What was that? Oh. Oh now we've got a uh, we've been attacked by a Boethia cultist. Come here. I cannot best you. You can't beat me. Ah! Like the Khajiit's getting involved as well. Ah, hello. Right, let's do it again. I offer greetings to you, yes? Khajiit asks but for a moment of your time. Uh, where were we? Uh what is it you want of me? I know of your kind because you speak, but know that I am watching you. Or oh, I have no time to spare. Uh, I'm going to go with, I know of your kind because you speak, but know that I am watching you. My apologies. I did not mean to cause apprehension. I shall explain my encroachment. First of all, my name is Jagar. I work for an organization known as the East Empire Trading Company. This area I was busy surveying. When, to my surprise, I see someone enter this dungeon in a manner most brazen. And more surprising still, to see you emerge clearly victorious. <laughs> victorious may be an overstatement. I just did what I must. It is true, my triumph knows no bounds. You doubted my ability. Uh, you said you'd explain yourself, not bore me to tears. Or oh, those who stand in my way shall fall. It is simple as that. Uh, you doubted my ability. It was no question of doubtfulness. Those who enter such places often do not return. During your venture, I'm sure you came across many trinkets and items of value. These places are usually filled with such. But some items you had to leave behind. Yes, it is uh, impractical to carry out all that we might like. This is why I approach. Shagar wishes to offer you a service to assist with this problem. 
Okay, uh, that's worth just seeing the second option. Not interested, take your sales pitch elsewhere. Uh, let's hear it, what's this service? In short, if you are to gather and then store all the items you wish to take from a place such as this, Shakar can ensure collection and delivery of all these items, allowing you to take your fill of plunder. This is the service I offer. Okay. Uh, what would you want in return? Or well, can you elaborate? What do you mean by collection and delivery? I can explain. Of all the treasure, armor, weapons, and shiny baubles you wish to take from somewhere, Usually this would require much, feeling an emptying of pockets, many a journey to and from, much time and effort spent. What I offer is a service to alleviate this burden. All you would need to do is gather everything you wanted to a single place, and then I would arrange couriers to pick up all these items and deliver them to a secure and easily accessed strongbox for your future retrieval. Okay, and what would you want in return? You are wise to know I would want something. Yes, in exchange for providing you this service. I would ask that you allow my group, the East Empire Company, to lay a temporary claim to any territory you have cleared. Once an area has been purged of hostile presence, I would dispatch a clerk to survey and catalogue the site's value. But do not misunderstand. We would not be taking any items or treasure. Through your efforts, these, of course, would belong to you. Okay. Um, your terms are fair. I agree to them. Tell me more about this East Empire Trading Company. You want to survey and catalogue the places I clear. Why? Why would you? Why would you not want any treasure? Yeah. Why would you not want any treasure? I would like to take all the treasure for myself of course but i believe the best business transactions leave all involved parties satisfied since you will be doing most of the work it is only fair all the spoils go to you otherwise your incentive to help me is not so much treasure is nice but long-term and stable profit is better Yep, fair enough. Uh, you want to survey and catalogue the places I clear. Why? There is value to places beyond the objects held within. For example, its location may have strategic importance. There may be natural resources or historical and cultural significance to the area. These things have worth. But first, these aspects must be correctly identified and then recorded. It is a matter of bureaucracy, one might say. That is why I wish to lay a temporary claim to these places. I liked how the last couple of options I just chose there, there was like um, NPC movements, but they, f they actually fit with what he was saying. They weren't just like random like actions or anything. Um, like when he when he was talking about cultural significance, he like started walk, walking one side to the next and moving his arms. It actually fit with what he was saying. Um, but I've just realised actually the voice acting in this is very very good. I mean, I'd got into the conversation and I'd almost completely forgotten that it. Um, I just realised he's like sliding down the hill. Um, yeah, I'd completely just forgotten the fact that it was it was even new it just felt like it fit in with the game and obviously being a Khajiit he um it's quite a unique accent isn't it very very um yeah really really impressed so far may you walk in warm saints you return my offer still stands the terms remain the same uh, yeah your terms are fair I agree to them yeah this news is wonderful. You have made a good decision, I think. Here, you must take these. Place the relic. East Empire relic. And I'll be made aware of its location and of your desire for the items held within to be transported. Anything gathered will be moved to an East Empire trade camp for your future collection. 
Of course, right now, there is only the one camp. But in time, there shall be more. Okay. Uh, what are these strange devices you've given me? <laughs> Your empire company has only one, one trade camp. Uh, yeah, what are these strange devices you've given me? I am unsure. It is something discovered by my business associate, but he too knows little of them. What we do know is that the relic you hold react with another kind of apparatus, one that I have right here. When roused, the relic I gave you behave as uh, beacons, emitting bright light into a dark sky. I speak figuratively, of course. The apparatus that I hold allows me to see where that light is coming from, and acts much like a compass, guiding me to the light source. Amazing, the uh, East Empire Trading Companies uh, stumbled upon GPS, it seems. Um, very well, I shall put these devices to good use. Shakar has certainty that you will. Also, I should mention, any area in which you use a relic, must be either cleared of any hostile creatures or be out within the open. Otherwise, my couriers will be unable to gather what you have stored. And remember, once collected, your items will be available from any current or future trade camp you send them to. Have you understood all I have said? If you wish, we can test out a relic right now, so you may see how they work. Uh, yeah, that would be good. A demonstration would be welcome, please. Show me how these relics work. The demonstration shall be nice and simple. Yes. First, take this. We can use this junk for our test. Now, let us enter an area you have cleared. Or, for that matter, any other place with a container we can use. Then, all you need to do is place that junk and the relic inside of a suitable receptacle. Lead on, and I shall follow. Okay. Place an East Empire relic and some items to deliver in a container within Silent Moon's camp. Why is it telling me to? Oh, we need to. Um. Yeah, we need. It said check his body, didn't we? When we uh, when we killed him, it was probably because of this. Yeah, Boethia's calling. Right, let's go find a container. I think there's one. There's one in here, isn't there? Can we use this one, maybe? We just take everything out of it. Right, so let's try... So we have to put, do we have to put in the East Empire relic first? Add additional items to the container that you'd like to have delivered for you. So he gave us a broken mace handle, a burned book, and a wine bottle, wasn't it? What did I just pick up as well? Steel battle axe and... Iron Armour of Restoration. Let's try all that. No, no, this will not do. The relic must be placed somewhere that is secure. Ah, this won't do. Okay. We'll try somewhere else then. I thought you said it had to be out in the open. Unless this area is... There's an enemy somewhere. Maybe. We'll try down here. Uh, if we try, yeah, let's try this one here. Right, relic first, and then all our junk. Ah, there we go. Ah, very good. I now detect you wish I pick up and delivery. Usually, I would send a courier for this, but since I am already here, there, now everything I have, and these items shall be returned to camp. 
You are free to follow me if you wish. See to where your items will be delivered. Uh, yes, show me to your camp. As you desire. Follow me there. Right, has he emptied this? Yes, he has. Right, let's follow him to his camp. Right, where's he gone? Oh, he's already set off to his uh, camp. Look at him go. But yeah, it was interesting that he said it had to be out in the open, the container. I automatically assumed that meant somewhere like this that is literally in the world map, but the one that worked was inside Silent Moon's camp, which is... that's I'm actually quite pleased about that because it would have been a bit of a pain if you always had to find a chest that was out in the open. The fact that you can use ones inside is, yeah, good. I just don't know what it meant by... Yeah, out in the open then. Let's try and catch him up. Where is he? Oh no. He's uh, currently losing a fight against two mud crabs. Let's give him a hand. Oh no, I hate archery on horseback. There we go. Right. Guess we'll have to keep a closer eye on him than I, uh, yeah, originally anticipated. If he can't win against two mud crabs. Definitely needs a uh, bodyguard. What is he doing? Right, we're off again. Don't like how he's leading us through a uh, giant's camp here. If we uh, we struggled against uh, mud crabs. This isn't really the place we want to be. Right, he's coming now. I wonder where his camp is actually. I hope it's not like miles away. Or maybe it's that actually on the, the, there's a new location over there it looks like, near one of the farms in Whiterun. I'm wondering if it could be that, although he isn't heading that way, he's heading over here. Yeah, it's, this is the Western Watchtower. Oh, he is now going this way. Maybe he was looking for the road. Yeah, there's, it looks like there's a new camp or something up here. So I'm wondering if it's that. Yeah, here we are. This looks promising. East Empire Camp White Run discovered. I mean, it is literally just a a few crates at the minute, isn't it? And a hay pile. Hmm? We've got one East Empire merchant here. Starting out small. Yes. 
What is he doing? I'm assuming he's trying to get to this crate here. Is this him putting the items in the chest? I'm hoping. There, just as a courier would. I have there, just as a courier would. I have placed the items in the delivery chest, available for retrieval whenever you wish. Here we are, moment of truth. East Empire delivery. There we go. East Empire service is complete and all five items are indeed within the chest, so... Don't really need to take these, do we, but... What's this? Oh no, have we been locked in the dialogue? I'm assuming he's meant to be saying this sentence below. Don't think we can... Oh no, we can't exit either. Oh no, this isn't good. Uh, let's just try... We're going to try reset him. Using console commands. See if that... Gets it moving again. You see how everything is in the delivery. Yeah, there we go. Chest? Everything is to your satisfaction. You see how everything is in the delivery chest, yes? Everything is to your satisfaction. Uh, yes, it appears everything's here. I'd hope for a few extra gems would find their way into the chest. Uh, there any reason I shouldn't be satisfied? Um, I'm going to go with the middle option. Ah, that is something we all hope for. Sadly, the storage chest only contains items we used for testing. But who knows? Perhaps next time there will be some extra knickknacks inside. Courtesy of the East Empire Company. But before that, a question. If you have the desire for more relics, you can acquire them from any East Empire merchant. I will ensure they always keep some in stock. For now, here, take these. On the house. But, uh, all this said, I still fear there is more I can offer. Forgive Akajit's curiosity, only... Would you perhaps be interested in more services? Uh, that depends. What is... What is it you offer? You have already seen how my collection service works, and this is good. But maybe there will be times that possession of all you have gathered is not what you desire. Perhaps you would prefer the item's value in septims instead. But for this, you must gather what you wish to sell and find merchant, haggle for price, blah blah blah, big headache. However, Shakar can do all this for you instead. I offer service of selling. Put items in container, and instead of marking for collection, mark for sale. And everything I can take care of. Uh, does this interest you? Okay, yeah, so this is the second element, isn't it? The actual selling of your goods. Um, this sounds most useful. I would have use for such a service. We sound like a Khajiit now as well. Ah, wonderful. A decision most discerning. And something that shall benefit us both, I think. If you wish for me to sell what you have gathered, when placing a relic, simply mark the container. This will indicate to me your intent. And once collected, I will begin to sell your items right away. Or you can simply speak to one of our camp merchants if you wish me to sell something else. Any coin made shall be stored in one of our company's strong boxes. You can find this also at our outposts. Here, you will need this key to open. Uh, okay. I expect this all to be on the level. 
Yeah, let's see what he says to that. Have no fear. There will be no black market dealings. I don't yet have the connections. You should know the more items of yours I can sell, the greater commercial connections I will establish. This will allow me to offer improvements to the services I provide you. So make sure to send plenty of items my way, yes? Oh, and before you take your leave, there is one more thing. If you are so inclined, there is something you could help me with. Okay, I'm listening. Tell me how I can help. I have a business associate. He is not one for travel, and so resides at the East Empire Company warehouse in solitude. Both he and I have certain aspirations we are working towards. However, I fear with your help, Things would advance a lot faster and smoother. If you've the time and desire, you should travel to Solitude and speak with him. I'm sure he would have use for your assistance. He should be easy to find. He's a rather self-important looking Altma named Corin. Tell him I have sent you. And thank you. With your help, ahead, I see a warm future for us all. Okay, so that starts East Empire Expansion. <laughs> He's just yes. crawling into bed. Speak to Corin. So this Corin, is this the person that is, yeah, located over at the East Empire Warehouse? So we'll go and, yeah, we'll go and speak to him soon. Yeah, but first, I want to try now. I want to try out this selling items feature. Um, it said. Does it say drop the gold is dropped off inside yeah this strong box so what is this EEC ledger white run progress mines controlled zero sites controlled zero shipments here oh this must be something else maybe we've not got that got to that bit yet uh, finances items sold zero oh, so this must be it. items sold zero profits made zero Ragnar's cut to date zero that's me okay so it's all kept in in the ledger that's cool yeah let's go test this out yeah let's go into uh, white run I wonder if you, we can do it in barrels that are out in the open, actually. What's in these? Tomatoes. So what I'm going to try is... Yeah, East Empire Relic has to go in first. And then let's put in... That then makes it turn red. Ah, so, okay. So then this is how we change it. So we want... Change to... East Empire Merchant at White Run. Ragnar at White Run. Okay, so Ragnar at White Run is if you want the items to be returned to the, the chest. An East Empire Merchant is if you want them to sell them. So if we now open the container. And what I'm going to put in is that steel battle axe. What else did we gather? I've got quite a lot here that I could put in. Let's put in the armour. For now. I'm going to put this junk in as well that he gave us. Put a few soul gems. What else can we put in? A couple of scrolls. Right, so now that I'm assuming 
I don't know how long it takes for this to actually happen, but if we now, if we just fast travel back to the White Run camp. Yes? Does it say in the ledger how much is there? No, nothing yet. I'm assuming it's gonna, it's, it'll have to be a, a certain amount of time. I just don't know how long that is. Need something? Uh, can I see what you have for sale? Oh, you can just give them, give him items directly to put up for sale. Of course. Oh, these are relics that you can buy more of. 174. Wow. <laughs> oh, I see how they make the money. Yeah, they're more, they're more than happy for you to uh, take the loot when they're needing to sell you these at 174 a hit. Uh, yeah, we'll take all 10. <laughs> Um, let's go into, let's go back into White Run. East Empire Mercenary, East Empire Courier. Ah, we've got the Courier now. Ah, so a Courier, a Courier does turn up, that's cool. If we just wait an hour, are they going to have gone? Yes. Give the East Empire Company time to sell your items. That's really cool that a courier actually comes and picks them up and then disappears again. Right, let's just go sleep. We'll give it... I don't know, 24 hours and then see what happens. I swear. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I don't know if I have the bed upstairs on this save, actually. We'll just check. Oh, I do. That's good. Yeah, let's just sleep for 24 hours. Yeah, I wasn't sure how that would work actually, but I quite like that you get there's um yeah, NPCs actually come and appear at the location that um makes it a bit more feel a bit more realistic. Give the East Empire Company time to sell your items, oh so that's happened now. Let's head back to the camp. Right, what have we got? Search strong box for your cut. 33 gold. Uh, let's see what's in the ledger. Oh, so they've only made, they've only sold two items so far. Profit made 110. Ragnar's cut 33. What's that like? 70% to... 70% goes to the... East Empire Company and we take 30. Is that right? Have I done the math right there? That seems quite... Uh, <laughs> Seems quite steep, but okay. Well, at least we know that it works. And this is this is something that you can accumulate over time, isn't it? Really, I think it's um, yeah. And I'm assuming the value of the item you give them just means you you take more of a cut. 
This is actually good though, to be honest, because especially at a high level, like the level that I'm on now on this save is like, I think it's in the 40s or 50s. And yeah, merchant's gold doesn't level with you. So it becomes hard to sell your stuff when you're, the stuff that you're getting is expensive or your speech skill is high. Like if you, if you raid a dungeon at level 50 or level 60, you're going to get loads of high level loot, but then you can't always sell that loot because merchant's gold just stays as it is really. It, they never have enough. So this is a great way of being able to actually get through your loot in a law friendly way that yeah, just doesn't feel like you're just giving it away or like dropping it off somewhere. I actually really like that. Should we wait another... Let's just fast travel somewhere and then come back. Now we'll go back and then see if they've sold any more. Yes? Travel into Skyrim. You might say No, they've not sold anything else. Yet. Just two. Need something? I wonder where they keep the items actually that you um that are to, to be sold. Yes? Does he have them? I'm going to see what you have for sale. Of course. Oh, yes, he, he actually has them. So he's not sold the steel battle axe yet. Or the armour. He sold one scroll. Oh, they, they, they took the tomatoes as well. So what's he actually sold then? One scroll and... Oh, maybe one of the soul gems. Yeah. Okay. So we still got them to sell then. So that's... Yeah, this this definitely feels like a slow burner. It's interesting though. Um, right, should we go up to... Let's go meet Corin. At the East Empire Company warehouse. This must be him here. Ah, yes. Hello to you. You'll have to forgive me. I'm rather preoccupied. Thus, I have no desire for idle chit-chat. I assume you're Corin. Shakar asked me to speak with you. Oh. So you're the one Shakar spoke of in his latest correspondence. I'm surprised that Nord would agree to speak to one such as Shakar, let alone agree to assist with his efforts. Very interesting. But yes, you were correct in your observation. I am indeed Corinne. A pleasure, I'm sure. Now, if Shakar sent you here, that likely means he thinks you of use to us. And I see no reason to question this. Tell me, did the enterprising young Khajiit explain the nature of his and my endeavor? Ah, oh, the voice acting in this is amazing. So good. Yeah, both both Shakar and Corin really, really impressed. What was interesting then as well is he actually commented on my race and um, did Shakar do something similar? So that means they've they've not only they've done all the dialogue for this, but they've I'm assuming they've done specific sentences for each race, which is actually I mean there's only ten races, so it's ten different, but it's really good. I, yeah, good that they've done that. They've gone to that kind of level of detail. Um, not really. He mentioned something about you being business associates. He spoke of your intentions to sell ice to Nords. Not much coin in, much coin in that, I hear. Uh, not really, but I assume you will, so get on with it. Um, he spoke of your intentions to sell ice to Nords. Much coin in that, I hear. Nice to see a little cynicism. 
Make sure to maintain that attitude of yours, and it will serve you well. Shikar likes to refer to us as business associates, but in truth, we're both merely junior traders of the East Empire Company. Right now, both he and I are on the lowest rungs of the mercantile ladder. But we've agreed to help each other accelerate our commercial career. From what I understand, in exchange for his services, you've already begun assisting Shikar. His little project is rather simple, but I'll admit, quite creative. I personally would have never thought to utilize the relics in the way he has. My plans, however, are a little more ambitious, and I would welcome your assistance. Okay, uh, let's hear about this plan of yours then. You see, the East Empire's position in Skyrim is tenuous. Our presence is tolerated at best, and we're severely limited in our operations. Officially, I'm not even sure we're sanctioned to be here. So, as you can imagine, our profit margin is as diluted as the wine at the Winking Skeever. <laughs> but, if we had the approval to do business directly from a yard, we'd then be free to expand our activities within each hole. Solidifying the East Empire's position, creating profit for all concerned, not to mention demonstrating our worth to our employers. And so, I've been attempting to arrange unofficial meetings, so that we may come to an understanding with the many Yars of this vast province. Okay, uh, not sure I agree with your tactics, but the results would surely benefit all. Unofficial meetings are probably the only kind that can get results. Of no concern over the ethics of your venture, where do I come into this? Um, not sure I agree with your tactics, but the results would surely benefit all. If that rationale helps you sleep better at night, who am I to dissuade you? Anyhow, I doubt you'll be surprised to hear most y'alls want nothing to do with an upstart high elf under the employ of a foreign organization. Nevertheless, we have had interest from at least one hole. The Jarl of Winterhold, Courier, has agreed to speak with us. Winterhold is generally viewed as one of the more desolate holds, a pale shadow of its former glory, which may explain their willingness to talk. I was intending to speak with Winterhold Jarl myself, but I feel you may get better results. Your Nord blood will provide you with a far more favorable disposition. So, what I ask of you is this. Visit Winterhold on my behalf, and attempt to acquire the Jarl's approval for our presence within their hold. In exchange, I will provide you a percentage of the wealth and materials we will acquire as a result. Sound fair? Okay, yeah. I agree to your terms. I'll speak with the Jarl. I'll, I, once again, it's, uh, yeah, it falls upon you to just do, <laughs> do everything. Yeah, I agree to your terms. I'll speak with the Jarl. Very good. Here, take this. I've already done some research into this particular Jarl. And I have the feeling that book I gave you, if offered as a gift, may help smooth negotiations to our favor. However, if you feel other tactics may be more apt, I will refer to your judgment. Just get the Jarl to agree to our presence within their hold. Okay, I understand. I'll head to Winterhold at once. Very good. I wish you luck. Oh, and have this too. That ring marks you as someone empowered to speak on our behalf. It'll also get you a discount with most merchants. Enjoy. Right, let's see what he's... Uh... Let's see what he's just given us. So he gave us a... Was it a ring? East Empire ring. Ah, prices are 15% better. I wondered when he said then it'll give you a discount at most uh, Yeah, East Empire merchants, whether it would just be a, a standard price ring. That's cool though. Cool that you get something. What else did he give us? Was it a book? A History of Winterhold. Is this a new book actually? Or is this one that's in the game already? I'm not actually sure. 
from the pen of Belar Malus, transcriber of the First Order, musing the first. The origin of Winterhold is one that is lost to the ages. I wonder how long it is. Ah, oh, it's a couple of pages. I don't actually know whether that is a, a new one or not, but if it is, then yeah. Kudos to the uh, mod author. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Michael. Alright, let's get over to Winterhold. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, we're here. Hmm? Can I help you? Shady contact. Who's this guy? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, oh, I'm not. Is this something to do with. The Greybeards have summoned the dragon. What's that? Pyrotic. Shady contact. Hmm? What could it mean? The return of the dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? Such I don't know what that is, unless. Is that part of this. Yeah, I'm not really sure who that is. You lost. Alright, anyway, let's go speak to the Jarl. Not waste time talking with travelers. Yarl, Korea. What's your business here in Winterhold? Uh, we don't have any options there about the the E E right. East Empire. You know, Winterhold used to be the seat of power in Skyrim. Now it's a shell. Now oh, here we go. Now it's come up. I'm re representing the East Empire Company. They wish to operate within your hold. You have my attention. Uh, so we've got a few options. We can offer him some septums. We can give him the book. Or we can try and persuade him. Allow their presence in Winterhold. It would surely encourage trade. Say no more. I'm glad to play my part. So we have a deal. The East Empire Company has your blessing. And by all means, go about your business. Well, that was nice and easy. We didn't even have to give him the, uh, give him the book over. Hmm? I don't know what the, who this guy is. I haven't, I've not seen any him appear anywhere before, so I can only assume he's part of this particular uh, mod, but hmm? I don't have much to say for himself. Uh, I'm just going to fly by uh, the camp in Whiterun, actually, to, yeah, to see whether we've sold any more stuff. Yes. Oh yeah, we've got another another cut. Let's see what it says in the ledger. So they've sold eight items now, and we've made a hundred and nine. So we get yeah the rest of our cut. Okay, yeah, I do like that mechanic. Need something? What's he got now? Of course. So we've still got the steel battle axe and the tomatoes. But he looks like he's sold pretty much everything else. Poor oh, no, he's still got the burn book. <laughs> Don't think you're going to sell that, mate. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think one of the other aspects to this expansion is... Uh, sorry, to this mod is that over time, we have a new these uh, trading posts, huh? they do... the they change, don't they? They get larger. And I'm assuming that must be tied to how much gold you actually make. But it doesn't actually say... I haven't seen anything to say how much that actually is. Unless I'm being blind. These sands are cold, but Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. <laughs> Very nice. Right, let's go back to... Yeah, report our success to Corin. I 
I've already received word. Winterhold has agreed to our presence. Well done. And I see you didn't even have to gift them the book I gave you. Impressive. Feel free to keep the book. Maybe sell it for coin. I must say, I'm very pleased with your progress. Competence can be such a rare commodity these days. Uh, the Arl was already eager. I just offered a little encouragement. You were wise to send me. Someone else may have made a mistake. Or keep your praise to yourself. I didn't do this for a pat on the head. I think we'll go with the first one. He was. He did seem a bit of a pushover. You've done well. We'll now be able to build a camp within Winterhold's borders, expanding our operations. But this is just the start. We need the blessing of more holds. If you'd be willing, I'd ask you to keep representing the East Empire. Speak to more Jarls and gain their favor. The more holds that agree to our terms, the more that we can do for you. Uh, of course, you'll have my help. I'm pleased to hear this. There are six more Jarls that will need convincing, but I doubt they'll be as receptive as Courier. I'd advise you not to be narrow-minded with your approach to gaining approval. There are plenty of ways to twist a person's arm. If you've the need, I can supply intel to aid you. Just check the ledger at an outpost after visiting a hold's capital, and I'll provide what I can. Travel the province, speak to the Arls, get as many to accept our presence as you are able. Whiterun already has a camp, but we'll still need the blessing of the local Jarl. Oh, and don't forget our furry friend, Shikar. Be sure to keep assisting him as well. One more thing. If you've not already done so, you should speak with Orthus, an employee of the East Empire residing in Windhelm. Assist him with his little problem, and it'll be of benefit to us all. I wish you luck. Goodbye for now. Okay. So, we've got a few things there. He, he said actually, he said six holds, but the dialogue said eight, didn't it? And it's definitely eight, because the only one we've been to so far is... Yeah, sorry, the text said eight, but he, he actually spoke six. The only one we've, we've done so far is winter holds, so I think it's definitely eight. Um, so we've got speak with Orthus Endario. There is a East Empire trading company building, isn't there, in in Windhold, in, in Windhelm? So I'm wondering if that's just sending you to go complete the quest there, because Arthur Sendario isn't a new character. He he's actually in the game already. But it also said, he said, if you go to, if you visit the ledger after visiting a hold's capital. He'll have some information on how to twist the Jarl's arm. So should we go to the camp in Whiterun, see if there's anything there? You have helped Corrine, and the East Empire has a new outpost. Wonderful this is. This allows me to extend a new service to you, for you can now decide where items you have placed the relic can be sent to. After you have activated a relic, simply mark the container to tell us where you wish those items to go. White Run, Winter, or wherever, as long as the East Empire has an outpost established, you can have the items sent to there. Or, if you'd prefer, you need not indicate any location. In which case, the items will be transported to the nearest outpost instead, just as before. Okay. I understand, thank you. Keep up the good work and we shall all benefit. I feel like I'm doing a lot of the legwork here. <laughs> Need something? Uh yeah, so we may have to actually go to the hole to inside White Run, but we'll see whether there's anything in the ledger. Perhaps you should Oh actually no, it's Oh okay. Okay. You can see them all coming up in the in the left hand corner there. Here locations in the rift. Ah. 
So all you have had to have done is actually go, have been to the Hulls Capital, and on this save, I've actually been to all of them. So it's automatically added them all in. Let's just see what these are. Yeah, so we've got one for each, for all eight of the holds we've not done. Yeah, that's good. So to convince Balgroff, he's had a family amulet stolen, perhaps returning it could curry favour with him. Check Dragon's Reach for clues regarding the amulet's whereabouts. The Jarl is also a man who respects a strong defence. If you were to master such a skill, he'd surely respect you too. Do they mean block, potentially? Lady Elisif the Fair, not quite Jarl, not quite Queen of Hafingar, but close enough for our needs. The young woman recently lost her husband, I feel we can use this. Take a look around the Blue Palace and you may discover a means to sway her attitude towards something more positive regarding the East Empire. Idgrod. The Jarl of Hjalmarch is Idgrod Ravencrone, a woman gifted with visions, it is said. Why not investigate her place of residence, see if you can discover any information on these so-called visions, and then use your knowledge of them to your advantage. Oh, this is, this is, um, yeah, I like, I like this. You get like a little, a short little quest to, to try and convince each one to allow the East Empire Company to trade in that, uh, in that hold. And what it says for Skald, is he Dawnstar? I understand local storekeepers are currently displeased with the quality of the goods and materials being sent their way. Bring proof of this to Skald and he may, he may be more willing to cooperate. Oh yeah, this, this is a um, yeah, big fan of this. Right, let's, uh, let's go into Whiterun then. Do we have to... Oh, so we don't actually have a quest to do these, so it's all, I'm assuming it's all going to be unassigned. So let's just go to Dragon's Reach. What did what did the book say again? For sorry, the notes say for Balgruff. Check Dragon's Reach for clues regarding the amulet's whereabouts. The Jarl is also a man who respects a strong defence. Wonder if we can talk to anyone that may know. Prevent us. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Yeah, there's nothing there that's new. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Left. We can never rest easy, for Balgruff's enemies will not. No. Maybe Balgruff will give us a clue regarding it. Watch over your battles, friend. I speak for the East Empire Company. They wish to operate freely in your hold. Let's hear the rest of it. As your Thane, trust when I say this will be a boon to Whiterun. Please take... 500 septims to cover any inconvenience. Now, if you don't mind, I've I wonder how we, yeah, look for this, start the missing amulet. Should we try to speak to some more people, and then go from there? It's four in the morning, isn't it? Everyone's probably in bed. So try the Jarl's quarters. What do you need? My cousin's out fighting. Oh no, we don't want to go through here. This is this is onto the balcony. Been too long since we've had a good. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. It's not going to be like in his uh, bedside cabinet, is it?
Yeah, family amulet stolen, perhaps returning it could curry favour with him. Check Dragon's Reach for clues regarding the amulet's whereabouts. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure Gotta keep my eyes open. how we start the this. To try Brongar? All this standing around is rubbish. No, he's not got any new dialogue. Yeah, I might have to, uh Go fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. You know, Do you know anything about this amulet? Cave to the northeast. Some kind of creature, small and wicked. Never seen its like before. Yeah, I might have to do a bit of uh, research to work out. Oh, so this is an amulet in here. Is it going to be this one? Yeah, I might have to do a bit of research to work out how... Um, whether this is actually a, a quest or not. I hope it is. I hope it's not just uh, dialogue fleshing it out. But, you know, hey, Fianna. No, don't you go tracking your dirty boots on my clean floor. I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duties as seriously as the Jarl himself takes his. Yeah, I can't, um, can't see any way of finding any clues yet. What's this? Note to Jarl Balgruff. My Jarl, we pursued the bandit we believe responsible for the thievery. Ah, here we go. But lost sight of him near the entrance to Shimimis Cave. We shall send a larger group to capture the miscreant as soon as we are able. Rest assured your family amulet will be returned to you in short order. Okay. So I guess you can either, you can try and you can pay your way through this, it seems. You can potentially use favour, like I'm Thane of this hold. So we could just try that and that work, but to be honest, I kind of want to use... I kind of want to go to Shimimis Cave, to be honest. Which is here. And see if we can actually locate it. Let's just fast travel to Tundra and then we'll walk the rest of the way. I didn't read the rest of the books actually, did I? I should, um, I should see what they all say. So Igmund... I suggest either helping reinforce his victorious ego or demonstrate your own righteous tendencies bestowed by a well-trained sword arm. That or you could find something to jeopardise that well-practised image of his. Searching Understone Keep should provide you with what you need. Layla. As her title suggests, she is a woman possessed of morals most upstanding. This should make it all the easier to find some kind of mistake or blunder we can use to sway her opinion of the East Empire. Or if you'd prefer something a little less underhanded, I'm sure someone in her position has messes that need cleaning up. Either way, you should search Miss Vale Keep for any information that could help you. Sid Gear. He is known for his extravagant tastes and questionable morals. Check his residency for clues to a current indulgence he may have and then indulge him to gain favour. Or you could search for something that he may wish to remain hidden and threaten to reveal it. Unless he gives you what you want, of course. And then finally, Ulfric. I fear there will be little we can do to sway someone as stubborn as him, but perhaps there may be some way to influence him via his people. Search the Palace of the Kings for any problem he you could help elevate. Okay.
Right, let's go inside Shimmer Mist. Shimmer Mist is full of Falmer, isn't it? I wonder if that was the... The guard did actually give us a clue about that, didn't he? He said, um... He said, I saw a, a skulking creature or something disappear off into, into Shimmer Mist Cave. Maybe he did actually give us a clue about it. Right, how are we going to find a... Yeah. A... Amulet in here. Oh wow, that is a big spider. I shouldn't have walked into this pool because now I'm not uh, sure how, how I can get out. Ah, here we are. Didn't see that uh, trap. Right, do you have the amulet? No, you do not. I bet it's going to be like right at the end, isn't it? Like most uh, quest <laughs> quest items. I think what I'll do is when we get back to Whiterun, if we do find the amulet, I'll save my game and I'll try all three options. So Thane, Gold and the amulet and see if all three work. Because if they do, then it'll we'll know that for some people who don't want to do all the quests and just get to the kind of get them unlocked you can actually do that you don't have to do this it's not a requirement but if they don't work if the money doesn't work and the yeah trying to say persuading because you the thane doesn't work then we know that you have to complete these i don't really mind either way to be honest which it is which one because if it's the latter and you have to complete these. Um, as I've said a few times, this doesn't really feel like it is a a quest that you. Oh, come on, Lydia, get out of the way. Huh? It doesn't feel like it is a yeah a mod that you you do quickly. It's definitely a slow burner.
just realised I need to uh, I need to recharge my weapons, don't I? Run through all my uh, lesser gems that I've got because I seem to be carrying a lot of them in it. Where is this amulet going to be? We got is it on this table? I wonder. Doesn't appear to be. And this chest. This is the end of the dungeon, isn't it? Does this lead 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 out now? Unless I've missed it. Where's this go? Shimmer's cave. Oh. Yeah, this is now the way out. I must have missed something, surely. I'm not gonna lead us on a on this wild goose chase for nothing. Let's just go back round. Huh? Definitely not on him, so... Oh. We woke the Centurion up. Does he have it? He's not going to have it, is he? Let's be, let's be honest. Uh, right, are there any more chests anywhere that I've not found? It's a shame you don't get a like a little radiant quest or something on miscellaneous quest because then you'd have a you'd probably have a better chance of you'd have a better chance of locating where they are then. Let's just try down here.
kind of looking to see if there's a body of like I don't know, like a thief or something. You know that like I've I've missed that would be the the trigger of who's carrying it. You know, like someone who stole it and then like um yeah came into this cave and then just got maybe got killed by the Falmer. This is all Lydia's got stuck in the doorway again. Does it say we've now cleared this location? Yeah, it does. Um, my only hope now is that it is actually in Shimimis Cave and not the grotto. So we'll go back there. He the one I shot when we first came in. That's just two ways to shimmer miss. Ah, oh, that's that's the um, that's the other entrance, isn't it? Yeah. That's sorry. That that's where you come out at the end after you've gone through the dwarven. Got here bow, helmet, arrow. Let's find the way down. Here we are. Could this be it? Bandit. Lock pick. Family amulet of Talos. We found it. There we go. Ah, oh, so we, yeah, I didn't need to go all the way through this uh, dungeon. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, I'm glad we managed to find that. So it is literally just inside, just inside the doorway. That's good. Right, so what we want to do now is... Yesterday I saw a dragon fly right over the city, headed northeast, towards Shear Point by the looks of it. Oh, he's giving us a dragon lair location. <laughs> right, so what I want to do is, let's just test this out. Right, Balgroff. What is it that you need? Uh, I speak for the East Empire Company. They wish to operate freely in your hold. Let's hear the rest of it. 
Uh, as your thane, trust when I say this would be a boon to Whiterun. Oh, actually, no, I want to try the gift first. I found your family amulet. I return it as a gift from the East Empire. Oh, thank the gods. So with this, the East Empire Company may operate in your hold. Very well, I'll make the arrangements. There we go, so we know that works. Let's just try reload. And now this time we'll try What is it that you need? The message about being Thane. Let's hear the rest of it. Uh, as your Thane, trust when I say this will be a boon to Whiterun. Well, if you say so. Okay. Very well, I'll make the arrangements. Okay, so that works. And then we'll try the bribe. What is it that you need? Uh, I speak for the East Empire Company. They wish to operate freely in your hold. Let's hear the rest of it. Uh, please take 500 septims to cover any inconvenience this may cause. Honest gold for honest work. Okay, so with this, the East Empire Company may operate in your hold. Very well, I'll make the arrangements. Okay, so yeah, so that answers the question. So basically, it seems that these, you don't actually have to do the not requirements. You can do them if you want, if you'd prefer to, for the role-playing aspect, I guess. But yeah, if you want to just bypass all that, you can do. Yeah, okay. That's, um, that's interesting. Family amulet to Talos. It's just a base. It's just a standard amulet, isn't it? I think. I don't think there's anything specific about it other than the name that makes it unique. Okay, so did we got a? Do we get a quest? Okay, look, we got a, a quest marker that came up, didn't we? Let's just, I'm just going to reload. I'm going to do this one more time and see what it says. Because I wasn't actually paying attention to what the the, the pop-up said. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is, is I'm going to return need? the amulet. Let's hear the rest of it. Uh, now that we've gone to the trouble of actually doing it. Uh, I found your family amulet. I return it as a gift from the East Empire. Oh, thank the gods. So with this, the East Empire Company may operate in your hold. Very well, I'll make the arrangements. Oh, I convinced the Jarl of Wyron to allow the East Empire Company to operate. So it must be... The quest markers must be unlisted in here. Because there's nothing that comes up for them. I wonder what happens now if we go to... Yeah, return back to Shakar. Right, Shakar, are you going to comment on the fact that we've now gained the favour of White Run? His lands are so cold. Shakar is pleased to see you. You are friend. No, it doesn't look like it. I ponder still the origin of the relics. It is a mystery indeed. Maybe... Yeah, maybe if we go to the East Empire Company warehouse, then Corin will be the one that will comment on it. You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. Talk to Gaiman if you want a horse. Or Accounting and bookkeeping are essential skills for any you. successful merchant. As is knowing how to subtly falsify particular financial records. No, maybe we have to, I don't know, maybe you have to unlock more of them. Um, one... 
Let's just go back to the East Empire Company in White Run. Uh, one thing I want to see if we can get done is, um, in fact, actually, need something. I don't think we've heard about it yet. But the on the ledger, it says mines controlled, sites controlled. I don't think we've had anything about that yet, have we? I wonder when that comes into play, whether that's something that hasn't, um, maybe we need to unlock more holes for that to, to come up, to appear. Uh, let's, let's travel to Winterhold and find out where the, uh, where the camp is up there, because that's one hole that we've actually unlocked. And what we could do is we could test sending items between holds. Hmm. Ah, here's the merchant. Where's he just come from? Ah, here we are. Okay, ah, oh, they've uh, repaired one of the one of the houses. Yeah, this house is normally just a wreck, isn't it? I'm assuming this ledge is going to just say zero for everything. Yeah, because we've not done anything here yet. Okay. Have we got a dragon attacking? Yes, we do. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say is let's find a chest somewhere. And I'll send some items to Whiterun and some to Winterhold. And then let's just test it out, see if it works. if we can do it in inside maybe can I help you? I'm assuming it'll work with any like any barrel oh it's true isn't it a dragon has attacked white run how could we don't get many people like you visiting winter usually it's elves we try one of these barrels or a sack maybe yeah let's try this one here so if I place a relic in here. Just one, not twelve. Right, and then it glows red. And now I want to change the place. Next. Ah, oh, yeah, so you can cycle between your locations. That's good. So it's a winter hold. And we want it to... In fact, yeah, we want it to go to me. So I just want to see whether this works. Let's just send myself... Send myself an amethyst. And then in this one... The value of what we're sending doesn't even cover the cost of the relic, doesn't it? But I'm just sort of, I just want to test this out. One relic. And then this one I want to send to White Run. And I'm gonna send Let's send a garnet. Right. Yes. Oh, we've got the courier's already turned up. That was quick. It's shot. All right, let's go sleep. I'm sorry. Could you? How can I help a brother not? I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I don't think I've been to White Run yet because the Nelikar's just only having his uh, this. talk. Just say the word this is why people have a problem. Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. Uh, I just want if a room, please. Just let me know. Yeah, let me rent a room. See ya. Sure thing. 
It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I don't deal with any college applicants these days. Let's just have a little sleep and then see what happens. We may not have as much to offer as white Ah, oh, not this one. But we'll do what we can ah, to this make one here. a pleasant one. Let's sleep till the morning. There we go. Oh, we've got another East Empire merchant here. Oh, he must be the one the from the actual store. Hi. It's like they're coming in, in and out of the uh, the longhouse. They done. Right, let's fast travel away. In fact, now I want to see. We haven't had the, the the quest marker come up yet, but I want to see if it's actually here. So if I go into here, ah, ah, oh, it's also taken the lab. That's that's really interesting. That because that's class is stolen. So we've got our amethyst back, and they've also emptied the lavender. So you can. Does that mean you can put, you must be able to put stolen items into these containers and then they'll just take them for you and like move them to, move them to your, oh Shikar's here, yeah to your inventory, I wonder if they're actually classed as stolen or whether it cleanses them for you. So it's not actually, it's not classed as stolen. Oh, if that's a way of cleansing items as well, that is amazing. Thieves Guild, eat your heart out. Do we get a quest marker now? No, we don't. Beca oh, because it's in actually in Winterhold, maybe we don't get a specific marker like this because it's not that this one actually isn't in the city of Whiterun. Right, let's try this one here. Garlic. Yes, yeah, so it, it's it's cleansed the items. Where is it? It's in ingredients, isn't it? Garlic. Yeah. Not class of stolen. Wow. So yeah, you could basically, you could go into somewhere, rob it, put all the items into a chest and the East Empire co Company just turn up like removal men and just take all someone's belongings out of their house into here and then you've just got all the stuff. Yeah, I want to see what happens in uh, how we unlock... Oh, we've got more cut to pick up as well. That's good. Um, I want to see the mine bit. Yeah, let's. What I'm going to do is let's just travel around the holds. In the interest of time, I'm not going to complete the quests. I'm just going to pay them off, and then I want to see what happens when we've got all the holds unlocked. Whether the mining operation, then you can start that. Um, I'll save my game here because I do want to go back at some point and actually do these rather than just have, um, yeah bypass all all these little mini quests. It's a curse. It has oh, to be. not the wind I've peeking. Get out of this town. They say that vampires attacked the whole of the vigilant, burned it to the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. Right here we are. Divine sake, scald. Who do you think we're threatening with our old world? Unless you're here to solve this nightmare them. problem, I don't need you. Uh, I speak for the East Empire Company. They asked to operate within your hold. Let's hear it. You seem tired. So we can try persuade him or, wow, 2,000 septums. 
Let's just pay him off. For a bad price? <laughs> sure. So you'll allow the presence of the East Empire Company within the Pale. Tell your people at the company I accept it. No time to talk. <laughs> Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. <laughs> the fugitive. Don't you just love it when you get a random... Yeah, the random events that happen in Skyrim. You're pulled from one uh, conversation to the next. Right, where's the hunter that normally comes after this item? Is he here? Did you see someone run past just now? Uh, yeah, I presume this glass bl bow belongs to you. Yes. How did you get this? Uh, oh, never mind. Here. It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. <laughs> you do that. Uh, right, let's keep going. So we've done Dawnstar. We've done Winterhold. Uh, let's try Morthal next. Suffer dire consequences. Idgrod. So, life has brought you to more. Uh, I speak for the East me. Empire Company. They wish to do this business in your hold. No doubt see. Come, come, I haven't got all day. Wow, five thousand. Should we try persuade her? Grant this to the East Empire and you'll see great wealth. Not impressed. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, five thousand septums from the East Empire. Ah, oh, look at the pretty shiny coins. Okay, so with this, the East Empire Company's permission to work within Hjalmarch. I will see that it is dealt with. There we go. So yeah, these seem quite so. Maybe it is beneficial to do these quests, especially if the money is if it costs that much. So 5,000 and 2,000. What if I got 50, oh, 52,000, I'm, I'm all right. So, yeah, Winterhold, what was Winterhold's price, 250? And White Runs was only like 500. But I've got favor in White Runs. So I'm wondering whether that does that alter the price, like Morthal. Morthal and Dawnstar, I've been to them, but I've not actually done anything in them on this save, so I'm pretty much unknown there. Like Dawnstar, you saw that they were still having the conversation outside of the um, outside of the Jarl's longhouse because I've literally not, I barely stepped foot in it. We'll try right. Let's do Solitude next. This one's going to be expensive. I can feel it. But yeah, maybe it, maybe it is beneficial to actually do these little quests then to save yourself an absolute hat full of gold. The Imperials are good for business and business. Yeah, I'll listen the fair. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Uh, the East Empire seeks your permission to officially operate within your hold. Oh, really? Twenty-five thousand. Wow. I thought this was one was going to be expensive. Flipping heck. Right, let's do it. Well, if you insist. So we have an agreement. May the East Empire <laughs> operate within Hafingar. Very well. There we go. Right, that is half of my gold gone, and I've still got uh, a few holds still to go. Right, who have we got next? Let's try Marketh. It 
Old Warren City underneath the keep. We fight them where they live. We won't have to fight you. Jarl Egmund. Son of Orofdia. Jarl of Markarth. Alright, let's just do this. Get this over with. What? Why how much gold am I going to have to pay you? If you're serious, you're in the right place. Uh, I offer you 8,000 of my own septims, a gesture of faith in this venture. Everything here appears to be in order. There we go. So I can assume the East Empire has your blessing to operate within the Reach. Of course. I would have it no other way. Right. We are being bled dry. Yeah, I am 100% getting from this. Complete these. They are... Yeah, they are there for a reason. Not unless you have got mountains of gold. Right, so we've done... We've done White Run. Well, we've basically done all up here, isn't it? So we've got Falkreath, Windhelm, and Riften still to go. Watch the skies, traveller. What is it? Dragons? Be careful. They say I'll... What do you need? Where's the Jarl? It's ten in the morning. Should we wake uh, ten in the evening? Should we wake him up? Is he in bed? Yeah. Sid year. Yes. What is it that you want? Uh, I'm here for the East Empire Company. They request to operate in your hold. While the idea seems dubious at best, it has not at present been entirely ruled out. Speak. Ah, oh, so we do have an option to persuade here. So we try that and save ourselves 2,000 septims. This deal could bring a lot of wealth to Falkreath and yourself. If it'll put your mind at ease, then I agree. Okay, so we've saved ourselves 2,000 septims there. Brilliant. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. It's good to know that persuasion attempts do sometimes work. Poor old Falkreath, they, um, they, yeah, oh, we've got a dragon attacking. Yeah, they could, the Falkreath could have probably done with the gold more than, uh, some of them, definitely. Especially Solitude. I've just seen when I came out of here as well. We have a new um There's a new marker up here that looks like the one in White Run. I'm wondering if this is yes it is. East Empire Falkreath. They, they must construct it here. They just haven't actually got here yet. Wonder if we fast. Let's just fast travel away and come back. Maybe they will. Maybe they will have constructed it then. Oh no, not yet. Maybe we have to wait. Maybe it'll have to be like a certain amount of time. Right, let's keep going. We've got two more holds left to do, so let's do Riften. Welcome to Riften. Welcome to Riften, Traveler. Layla Lawgiver. What can I do for you? Uh, the East Empire Company wishes to operate in your hold. What happened then? Welcome Speak. to Miss Keep. I wish to hear everything my subjects have to say. Uh, let's try it again. 
oh the com the conversations not uh didn't work then uh, the east empire's influence could bring great profit to the rift so let's try persuade her please stop wasting my time you're embarrassing yourself <laughs> Uh, let us not play games. 5,000 septums is in, in exchange for your endorsements. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Oh. There we go. So you'll grant the East Empire access to your hold. It shall be so. As Riften steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited assistance. But speak your mind. Right, so we've done everyone now bar yes, Windhelm, I think. Well, how much gold have we got left? 14,000. Hopefully... Yeah, it's less than that. I think up to now, this this um, mod has felt very well put together. We've had a couple of bugs, so we had the uh, we had a conversation that we got stuck in here, and then we've just had another line of dialogue here that, that just didn't it wasn't read out. But other than that, it's been pretty solid so far. a straight answer he's a true nord he'll come around don't be so sure of that we've intercepted couriers from solitude uh, i represent the east empire they seek permission to operate within your hold is that so Twelve thousand septims wow okay i suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get so the East Empire, they have your permission to work in East March. I will honor your request. And what would you have me do? There we go. If he's not um, with that us, line that he just said there, I suppose that's the fairest deal we're going to get. They've but they've taken that from the How long? Uh, conversation up at uh, what's it called with the Greybeards, um, High Hrothgar. The the that's the conversation you have when you all sit around the uh, the table. Right, let's go to let's go back to White Run and in fact no, I'm going to go to Falkreath. I want to see if this camp's appeared now. Yes, it has. The Empire Company is doing well, in no small part due to your efforts. We now have the infrastructure to start exploiting the natural resources of the locations you have cleared. Materials that were previously unobtainable can now be extracted. And of course, of this you shall get a cut. A happy bonus for all of your assistance. I have instructed our people to deliver your cut to whichever is the nearest outpost, which you can then collect from the delivery container. Or, if you do not wish for the materials, I can instead sell them for you and give you coin instead. Okay. Uh, I think I prefer the gold instead. Gosh, we kind of need to make it back, don't we? Arrangements right away. However, if you change your mind and instead wish for the materials, just speak to one of the merchants at an outpost, and they will help you. After that, you need only check the delivery container within the same hold as where the materials were gathered to collect whatever is delivered. Your car wishes for warm sands beneath your feet, friend. Goodbye for now. I'm wondering if this is to, this is the triggered event to do with the the mine the mining aspect of it now. Yeah, that bit mines controlled, sites controlled. Because need something. We've not actually. Yeah, we've not actually done anything with that yet. I ponder still the origin of them. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Let's try and clear. Embershard Mine is in Falkreath, isn't it? That's the nearest one to where we are. Let's go and clear. At this location and then we'll see what happens huh I've got a bad feeling 
about this. Let's try and get through this uh, quite quickly. I just want to see what happens when we clear a location. Whether they come and claim it. That was a bit of an odd kill cam. Let's start making our gold back. <laughs> gold back. What have we gone down to? Two thousand. Oh, <laughs> it's a good job we uh, we haggled at the end, isn't it? We'd have literally been. We'd have had nothing. Given our entire life's fortune over because we didn't want to do. We didn't want to complete these. I'm glad I uh, saved my game in Dawnstar now. Go back and uh, do all those. I've never seen anything quite like that. <sighs> oh no, we missed. That's this location dealt with. I'm going to give all these gems to the East Empire Company to sell, by the way. We'll see how much gold we can make back from them. The other thing I've not done yet as well is we've not seen the, the location expand, which I kind of want to do as well. We'll try and expand, like... The white run one maybe and the in fact we'll try and expand the all the three we've been to Falkreath, white run and winter hold so now we've done this location ah uh, is anyone going to actually turn up i wonder Maybe we have to travel away and come back. Yeah, it does say we've cleared it. Let's go to the Falkreath camp and see what see whether it says we've got a location. No, not yet. to be anything happening yet let's just try and wait 24 hours maybe it takes time for the uh, for them to turn up unless the when Shakar came to us he wasn't actually talking about the mining element it felt like that's what it would be though again either materials or gold
Yeah, there's nothing appears to be happening at this location. It's definitely it, it is definitely in Falkreath, isn't it? It's, I'm sure the border runs like up to like here. Let's just try White Run. I might I might have got it wrong to be honest. Need something? Not what does this say? Locations. No, that doesn't say mines controlled. One. Just go back to here. Do you have any sweet rolls? Hmm. I love sweet rolls. Maybe the mining doesn't unlock until you've completed a certain amount of until these this is a bigger operation maybe I don't know You're doing well but you still Right let's the let's give these hmm? items put up for sale Place my cut of mine treasure and ore in the delivery container in the future Uh have some items put up for sale. Of course. All right, let's. What can we give him? One Falmer arrow. These robes. Gold diamond necklace. Oh, well, you can have it all. I want to see how much money you can make. We <laughs> give him Rudy's beacon. Yeah, that'll do. We've given him quite a lot there. All right then. Oh no, not another dragon. Oh, I need to charge our weapons. do turn up at the, uh, yeah, really inconvenient times. Right. Let's go fast travel somewhere and wait. What I'm also going to do as well, um, I have it on... <clears throat> good authority from one of my yeah, long time subscribers that you can really push the how much gold you can make from the from this service to like to the absolute extremes like if you give them like ridiculously powerful potions for example that are like worth a lot of gold you can make an absolute fortune so what i'm going to do is let's test that out so I can actually make, I think I've got the ingredients for Do I have, I'm wondering if, do I have on this save a My alchemy gear, because my alchemy on this save is level 100 Yes I do, it's here Right, this is my, yeah, potion making gear basically so let's equip this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some potions. So let's make... Uh, do I have the ingredients for it? Uh, it's water breathing, isn't it? Nordic, yeah, Nordic Barnacle and Salmon Row. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Look at the look at the value of that potion. Thirteen thousand just for one. So let's make six. 
And now what we're going to do... Oh, come on, Lydia, man. <laughs> Get out of the way. Uh, now... I'm going to... We're going to go sit, give this to the one in white run to sell. Need something? Uh, I have some items to put up for sale. Of course. And we're going to give you... Where is it? Potions. Where are they? Potion of water breathing. Right, so you can have... We'll give you three. Mm. Um, and I'm going to give three to the one in Winterhold, and we're going to see if we can get them looking a bit a uh, bit better. I want to see how much gold we can actually make from this. Need something? Of course. Uh, yes, I've got to give you these. See what you can do with them, buddy boy. Right. Let's go back down to... I'm going to go to the mine. See if anything's actually happened here. No, it doesn't appear to be yet. Right, let's go to... The camp in Falkreath and see whether they've sold anything. Ah, it is you. I have news to share. A trade outpost of ours has become more established. This is a good thing. Greater stability means greater chance for trade. I can now sell the items you send me at an increased value. Which means more gold for you. Always happy to receive more gold. Keep doing what you're doing out there. Helping the East Empire helps you in return. Ah, so one of our outposts now must have sold enough to be to have reached the next band. It was not my choice to I wonder what this one's right. saying. So they've sold four items so far and made I've made 181. But now that I am here, it is not so bad. I wonder which one it is that is uh yeah, improved. Because all all they will have had to do, I'm assuming, is sell one potion. With the value of those things. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, this is good. Oh, so it's like a, it actually looks like a proper merchant's den. Uh, den now. What does it say at the ledger? <laughs> so I've pretty much made my gold back. For the value of the potion, but look! Wow, look at the profit they've made—41,000. I wonder if that's one potion. So we see what he's got. Good afternoon. Uh, can I see what you have for sale? Of course. No, he must have sold both of them, or all three of them. Sorry. Oh, so you don't actually, yeah, you don't get the value of the item, do you? Until next time. Yeah, you, yeah, we've got like a third of it, haven't we? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, thirty percent each time. But yeah, there you go, twelve thousand. So if you get, yeah, if you if you basically repeat what I just did there and give them increasingly more powerful and more powerful potions, because I mean my gear is not amazing, my um, alchemy gear. Yeah, you must you must be able to. Make insane amounts. Hmm. This one needs Is there anything in this one? This one doesn't look like it's changed yet. Oh no, they must have sold one. Yeah, they've sold one of them. 
Right, I'm going to... God, he gets around a bit Shakar, doesn't he? I'm going to go in here and, and uh, wait. And then we'll see if we can... Yes. See if this one will change as well. Yeah, I've pretty much shown everything I want to show at this point. Other than the fact I want to see how reclaiming mines worked. It's bugging me that that's not... That what I did in Falkreath didn't actually do anything. Unless I've done something wrong. Right, let's see now. Has it changed? Have they sold any more goods? I am pleased that no, not yet. Gaps. Right, let's go to Falkreath. I'm sorry about all this jumping around, by the way, but I'm... I, yeah. This isn't what you'd normally do with this mod. I'm just trying to accelerate it just to see what happens, just for the purpose of the video, but... Yeah, they're definitely, this this is something you would do over a much longer period of time. Yeah, so we've, start, we've made a little bit more. Items sold 11. Let's give him more to sell. Yes. Of course. Right, you can have... Let's just give you loads of these potions. We don't really use Magicka much. In fact, you can just have loads of them. Yeah, see what you can do with all that. dragon. Let's see if we can uh, fast travel away. Uh, the one that's in White Run, that's now improved, I'm going to try and clear a location in White Run and see if we'll um, the East Empire Company come and uh, yeah, come and take over it. So let's try Halted Stream Camp. We'll clear this one and then see what happens. If, if nothing happens, I'll, I'll have to go away and look at why I can't get the mind thing to work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but you won't live to see tomorrow. What difficulty we're on actually? Cause it, some of these battles are feeling quite easy. Oh, we're literally on legendary. Yeah, you know, my gear, my gear on this is this save is a bit nuts now. I mean, look at my sword. Look at the damage from this sword. Another location cleared. Amaran's family sword. Ah, oh, I can return that to him. He's in a white run, isn't he?
Right, I'm hoping now that the East Empire Company are going to turn up. And then, yeah. Reclaim this location. Let's try to wait till the morning. Yeah, it does. It definitely says in the bio that you can you, that you can watch them. They sort of they turn up, and don't they? And then you see that the location will change over time. Like they'll start mining it. But I'm do, I'm doing something. There's something that isn't quite. I'm d doing wrong here. Unless it's literally it it literally takes like days and days and days for them to actually turn up. I, could, I suppose I could go back to the Falkreath one and see if that one, if there's been any movement there. Let's try Embershard Mine again. No, there's definitely nothing happening here, is there? What's it saying at the the camp? Do you have any sweet rolls? I love sweet rolls. <laughs> no, I don't have any sweet rolls. What's going on in the ledger? Nearly made 5,000 gold now. Item sold 21. Let's see if the if there's been much change at the one in Winterhold. Don't appear to, oh actually no, this has changed. We have more crates. Shakar is looking very splendid on his uh, you might say barrel. Tricky as of late. When it right, what for these? What for these sold? Wow, forty thousand gold profit. We've made twelve thousand. So yeah, they sold all. They sold all those potions. Yeah, so it's really easy to make silly amounts of gold this way, isn't it? Yeah. What did he say? You should clear more locations in Winterhold. Well, yeah, I've cleared locations in Whiterun, but you don't seem to be doing a great deal about it. Let's just go back to this camp. Right, does it say anything on the ledger about mines controlled now? Yes. Hmm. This wasn't here before, was it? This tent. Right, I'm going to try, let's try Falkreath one more time and then we'll call it a day, I think. Oh, this one's changed. Have we sold enough gold to meet, meet the next, um, we sold over 5,000 now, maybe 5,000 is the first cut off. 
But I think there's I think there's multiple cutoffs. I don't think oh, I've got another dragon. Um, I don't think uh, there's only one. I think you could the the camp improves even more. back down here. Yeah, I don't know how many levels there are. We've reached stage two of the expansion now, but yeah, there's definitely more. Guess it's all clear now. Heard they're reforming a dawn guard. Fire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. See the uh, the dragon. It can't be. These sands are cold. You took but its very soul. Feels warmness from your presence. <laughs> uh, right. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I might stop uh, stop the video here, guys. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to do a bit of research into why the mine element of this I can't get it to work. Um, it should definitely work. I thought all you had to do was clear a location, and then the East Empire Company will just turn up and then yeah this you'll see it in here and they'll start to mine that area because that's why i think that's why the the person who was the here the east empire merchant if i just wait i'm sure that's why yes. you have this option place my cut of mine treasure and ore in the delivery container in the future of course mm -hmm. because i think if you select that then you'll get Say, say for example when they're mining um, where is it if they're mining Ember Shard Mine which contains iron ore I'm assuming you'll get iron from it and the same with Halted Stream Camp to this one I thought that's how it would work um, but obviously I selected just to give me the gold yeah which I can do I can do here please sell my cut of mined ore and treasures of course. And then we'll just get the gold from it. Alright then. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to be working yet. Need something? Unless it is just a time a time thing, I don't know. So, um, yeah. But anyway, I... Um, yeah, that is the end of the five Try episode showcase the of the new... Oh, what did he just say then? Try clearing more areas. Ah, oh, I wonder if, because on this save, I haven't cleared enough yet. Because a lot of these locations I've not actually done. Maybe, maybe there's a certain threshold you have to meet before they'll start mining it. Maybe the area is not safe enough yet. That could well be it. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to pause this video here. Um, this is the end of the five episode series now on the, yeah, the new creations content. Um, yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think of them all. I think if I was to rank them, I'd probably put my top three would be the two dwarven dungeons that I did in the last one, um, dwarven delves. Archibus and this uh, East Empire expansion, they'd be my top three. Um, I did really also like the two homes, but I just, I think for value for money, you get more out of those three, definitely. Um, and then, yeah, I think probably the one I liked the least was probably Catcher, the Thief. Um, the dialogue in some places, as I say, was nice. In others, I, I, it didn't really work for me, so, but some people may like that, that creation. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this series and if you 
yeah i hope it helps you make a decision on whether you want to purchase any of them if you do so uh, yeah as always i am mike the gaming dad and i will see you next time Bye.